So really being the door to the estate, the engine yard suddenly got this enormous responsibility to open up the door to really what's behind it, which is this fabulous bit of Britain in Middle England. And I'd love for you to come with me now and we'll have a look through the door and see what we can find. So here we've got this extraordinary commercial shoot that we run. We've got fabulous terrain with the Beaver Ridge and lots of partridge shooting and pheasant. And we have people arriving here from all over the world coming to shoot birds on the Beaver Estate. And I've just created our own branded range of pheasant, partridge, duck and pigeons. And they'll be selling in Maloney's in the yard. So that's brand new, hot off the press. And I'm going to make uh, pheasant and partridge sausages as well. So every single bird that's shot on this estate goes straight into the food chain. And hopefully the food chain locally. And even better at the fuel tank. The other thing I found incredibly satisfying has been discovering the landscape. It didn't ever look to me as if we really had a garden because it was sort of gardenless. The very steep hills that run away from the castle. Um, it was difficult to put a formal rose beds and herbaceous borders. There are a few and they're beautiful and we've just, as we speak, redoing our rose garden with Peter Beals' roses and that was designed by a very famous designer called Harold Peto. But in comparison to it being an enormous ducal home, the gardens, the formal gardens, are not huge. So I set about a journey of finding out what the story was really about our gardens and as I peeled away the layers I began to realise that there was a bit of a monster going on there as well because a beautiful monster because we do have here at Beaver the last landscape created by Capability Brown and about 250 acres of woodland garden and I've planted over the last 15 years one after another wood that has been cleared and beautiful new trees. I think we've planted about 180,000 trees. We've taken down a lot, but we've planted double. And it just had become so overgrown. It was like a sleeping beauty in a sense. And so as again, as we've put in the paths, we've opened up the waterways, We've rebuilt the walls, we've restored the grottos, all with our own money, so we haven't taken any funding whatsoever. This is, I would say, ah, oh, after the engine yard, but I've loved this more than anything, recreating the landscape. I couldn't have done it without my darling Phil, who's at my side. Poor Phil, a lot of the time he thinks, oh, well now what does she want? But, um, yeah, no, the, the, there's one statue which I, I imagine one day when I'm not here, I will always look out and see the maturing landscape that I actually put in the last bit of landscape from the Capability Brown Plan that is now maturing. It's maturing five years on. I, I, I just have to pinch myself. Five years on, Em. The trees are growing. The monument is still there that Alan Titchmarsh unveiled all those years ago. And, yeah, we sort of feel as if we're almost getting on the right track. <laughs> but it'll take a lot longer. And one day, I hope, my children and my children's children will say, well... She was a bit of an old pain, but uh, she did get the garden right, or she did put in the, do up the engine yard, just like children do. So that's the gardens. And then we move on to the weddings. Weddings at Beaver have to be one of the most beautiful places to get married. The very word, Belvoir, beautiful view, 
just inspires a bride. And I think the grandeur of the rooms and the way the walls reach up with, whether it be guns here, but to a, a staircase up above, beautiful pink and gilded drawing rooms on every level. You just can't resist imagining yourself walking down those staircases and thinking, yeah, I'm going to get married. We've got her in chapel here, and so a lot of people get married in the chapel. Well, they use this room for several ceremonies. And then we're finding loads of birthday parties and loads of second marriages and christenings. We have our own family chaplain, so we can do everything in-house. And we just like to look after people. You know, people will write to me and say, I had the most wonderful day in your home. Thank you so much, and it's a complete pleasure. The possibilities of a stately home just are extraordinary. And we've recognised that being in the middle of um, Britain, in Middle England, you know, we're about 10 minutes from Grantham, an hour and 10 minutes from London on the train, that we're incredibly accessible for corporate day delegates and with our ability to take people out into the parkland and practice clay shooting. We've got a wonderful um, grouse butts that we take them and they learn how to shoot, or team building, or orienteering, or abseiling off the castle roof. Whatever it is, we seem to be able to facilitate it at Beaver so we can hopefully share it with people forevermore. That's the mission. My mission would be that what I do in my life, that we hopefully will be able to say, yeah, they got it going in the right direction for the future.